This is the problem you will learn how to solve. Press pause to attempt it. The method and the answer will follow. So to calculate the distance a car has travelled using a velocity time graph, you must calculate the area underneath the lines, underneath the graph. So you must firstly identify where you can separate the graph into triangles, rectangles or squares. And that's what I've done here. I've split my graph into two triangles and one rectangle. So to calculate the distance the car travelled while the car was accelerating, you must calculate the area of the triangle. And to calculate the area of a triangle, you use the equation base times height divided by 2. That will give you the area in this triangle. So to calculate the area, we must first identify the base and the height of the triangle. And to calculate the area of a triangle, you use the equation base times height divided by 2. And to calculate the area of a rectangle or a square, it is base times height. So we're going to use the equation base times height divided by 2. So you must identify the base. This is going to be 8 seconds, so B equals 8. Then to work out the height of the triangle, that's going to be the velocity change. So that is going to be 80 meters per second. So now you've got the base and the height. You simply do base of 8 times height of 80. And because it's a triangle, divide it by 2. And that will give you a distance the car travelled of 320 meters. So the car travelled 320 metres in the 8 seconds while it accelerated from 0 metres per second to 80 metres per second. So to calculate the distance the car travelled while the car was travelling at a constant velocity, we only need to use base times height. The height is still 80 metres per second. So to work out the base, it's going to be, it's going to be 20 seconds minus 8 seconds, 20 seconds minus 8 seconds. That gives you a time of 12 seconds. So the base is 12 seconds. So that means to work out the distance, the area of the rectangle, you do 80 times 12. That gives you a distance of 960 meters. And to work out the distance the car traveled while it was decelerating, you use base times height divided by 2. So the height is going to be 80 meters per second. So it's 80. And the base is going to be. 24 seconds minus 20 seconds, which gives you a base of 4. So to calculate the distance the car travelled while it was decelerating, you do 80 times 4 divided by 2. That will give you a distance of 160 metres. So while the car was accelerating, it travelled 320 metres. While the car was travelling at a constant velocity, it travelled 960 metres. And while the car was decelerating, it travelled 160 metres. So to work out the total distance the car travelled, you do 320 metres plus 960 metres plus 160 metres equals 1,440 metres. It's question time. Attempt these questions to check your understanding. This is the problem you will learn how to solve. Press pause to attempt it. The method and the answer will follow. Press pause and calculate the distance the car travelled during this journey. The answers will follow. So to calculate the distance the car travelled while it was accelerating, you use the equation base times height divided by 2 because it's a triangle that you're trying to work out the area of. The base is 10. The height is 16. So now you do base times height divided by 2, which is going to be 10 times 16 divided by 2. That gives you a total distance during acceleration of 80 meters. So now because it's a square or a rectangle, you use the equation base times height to work out the area of this rectangle. So the base is going to be 20 minus 10, which is going to give you a base of 10. And you've got a height of 16 meters per second. So that means you use the equation base times height and it's going to be 10 times 16 and it gives you a distance of 160 metres. So the car travelled 160 metres while it was travelling at a constant velocity of 16 metres per second. 
So now we're going to work out the distance the car traveled while the car was decelerating. So the base is going to be 4. The height is still 16. So you do base times height divided by 2 because it's a rectangle. So it's 4 times 16 divided by 2, which gives you a distance of 32 meters. So to work out the total distance the car traveled, you then do 80 meters plus 160 meters plus 32 meters, which gives you a total distance of 272 meters. That's how far the car traveled during the journey. It's question time. Attempt these questions to check your understanding. Press pause to practice using those key words. The answers will follow. Press pause to go through your answers and make any corrections to your mistakes. Press pause to answer the questions. The answers will follow. And if you're stuck, just rewatch the video. Press pause to go through your answers and make any corrections to your mistakes. Visit kscience.com for more free videos, worksheets, and quizzes at kscience.com. And don't forget to like and subscribe.